Hello, my soccer universe, to part four of my Europa League jersey review. Uh, we're looking at Group D, my favorite group. Why favorite? Because my team is playing in their first time in the Europa League. And as of this recording, I'm very proud to say that we already have qualified from this group, even though we were only the fourth seeded team. So we'll talk about Lusk last. I actually have all the Lusk jerseys in that, uh, the European ones, uh, all with the proper patches. I have the Europa League patch on the away and the third jersey and since we played in Champions League qualification with the white jersey I have the Champions League patch on there. Yes, I pulled it up there for the Europa League video. But you know, I needed some contrast here with all the red going on. I think white is better than black and I actually really love this black jersey to wear it in this video. Uh, we'll talk about this jersey for sure um, and the others Needless to say, I do like them. <laughs> so yeah, but we are starting again, going through the, as they were seated, pots one through four. So Lask, as I said, is last. Uh, it's gonna be probably a longer video because there's many. We'll start though with Sporting, um, who are also qualified already from this group. Um, and as of this recording there, and probably this will post definitely before the last day, Lusk and Sporting will play for first place in Linz. Okay, Sporting home jersey. Um, I have to say, the I, I really like what Macron did here. Uh, a very classic green hooped look. Um, the color, maybe... <clears throat> Yeah, this uh, this green, this white inset in the, in the green is maybe the one thing that is not that perfect. Also, maybe that the um, uh, hoops on the sleeves don't align with the rest of the jersey. But you know, small potatoes. It's a really strong look. Even like the sponsor on there um, that is in black. I just wish that the green band maybe it could have it could have been done a little bit smarter to not break up the green band. But overall, sporting. It's a really, really, really good look that I like a lot. Um, straight up eight star jersey. The away jersey, looking at it that way, I actually don't like it, but when you see it in match worn with the green pants, this is a pretty cool look, I have to say. Uh, looking at the jersey itself, it's just a modernist mess. I have to be honest with that. Uh, the two tone green uh, half and half look is a bit weird. Um, then the neon. Uh, add it to the collar and then like Lazio uh, with those slivers here. The slivers though I can do without. They did one smart thing. They they made the crest monochromatic. However, it doesn't really fit either with the whole thing. As I said, in match this jersey looks awesome. Uh, outside of it, not so much. Just by itself, I don't think I would want to have this jersey unless someone gifts it to me. I take any gifts, to be honest. Um, so if you have an old jersey that you don't want to have, just can't, can't come in and send it over. I'll take almost anything. So yeah, where do I go with those? I, it's a mess. I have to say, I my gut reaction is one or two stars, especially with the color. But since it looks nice in match, I'm going to give it three. Very nice though is the Stromp jersey that there is, which will not be worn in the Europa League. But I still wanted to feature it there. This is the traditional sporting jersey. I love that color. The half half look, the old style crest on there. Everything about this one is just gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. Um, I'm dishing out my first 10 stars for the Europa League right there. Let's go to PSV Eindhoven. Um, it's so weird to not have them with a Philip sponsor, to be honest. But yeah, uh, we have now Brainport Eindhoven on there. Um, it's a classic looking PSV jersey. Maybe the striping is a little bit too much uh, takes over because the uh, collar it doesn't stand out. It's just stripe, 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 and then we've cut the collar in there, which I guess is fine. But I think it could look a teeny bit better. But overall, I think it's a it's a classic PSV jersey. I actually do like the look overall. Over. Um, as I said, the color looks a little bit strange. The shoulders also with the, the you know, it, it, it just becomes a red here. That's If it was all strapped, I think I would like it better. Still, enough for eight stars. It's a pretty good jersey. Wouldn't mind have, having it one as a memento to our 
big wins. Maybe as a matter for a bigger win, I should take the away jersey. But honestly, this is disgusting. <laughs> um, if you see my Champions League jersey review, I really railed against the Ajax away jersey when they played the PSV uh, with green and orange shorts. And then when I looked up the PSV Ajax, I saw that PSV has black versus with orange shorts. And then the f I know it's supposed to be the f flag of, I think, Brabant. I'm not so good with my uh, Dutch provinces. Um, that's on, on the shows, but no. Orange... Uh, you're <sighs> black and orange. I like orange, but honestly, not for PSV. I think if this was red, I would understand it more and I would be more lenient. I actually do like, otherwise, it's a very sleek cut, you know, with the um, round collar. Even the that the um, uh, sponsor is in white doesn't bother me. Um, but my best thing to say about this this is the jersey that last beat them 4 1. Uh, in Linz. I do not like this one. It's three stars and the whole kit with the, will go even lower. We move on to the Norwegian champions Rosenborg who have also a very interesting uh, home jersey. If you've seen my, the Basel one um, in the previous, this is more or less the same but uh, it, it stays in black uh, and white. So we have um, the color is black and the sleeve cuffs are also black and then there's a slight golden outline which given Rosenborg I think is a good look. The um, sponsor of course in the Europa League is much smaller than pictured here uh, in the promotion picture but I actually like this pinstripe look a lot. I think it makes a lot of sense. It is a classic Rosenborg look. We have white with black pants and then you have the pinstripes over. I think that looks all pretty nice um where shall we go with that one i think is also an eight star adidas strong look uh rosenborg played once in the black away jersey which is basically this classic adidas template i don't have a really good picture except for the last game where they actually wore it when they were all black but it's basically this patterned look that we have uh, all over in black so two-tone black and gray and I have a little bit white on there very templated, not super uh, strong looking, but also makes a lot of sense in uh, the context of Rosenborg. So I'm gonna give this uh, six stars. And then the away jersey, I don't know why they chose uh, pink. I know Velasco chose pink, as, as, as we will see, but it's the same look that Lask has. Maybe they copied it from there, I, I, I don't know. Uh, so I cannot go really bad on the pink, but I was just surprised to see Rosenborg uh, with that pink jersey showing up in Lisbon. Same look as against Lask. Uh, I really had to laugh when I saw that one. But it also makes, in a way, sense uh, to have this. So, uh, what do I say about this jersey? Well, it's your Adidas template that we had before. It's the same thing as the black jersey, just in pink and now with black outline. Say what you like. I think it's not the greatest one, uh, but I cannot fault it much. As I give it five stars. And so we're at Lask. And Lask has released no more than seven jerseys this season, which to me, uh, I would, if this was any other team, I would completely go berserk. However, I have to say Lask offers them for a very reasonable uh, 50 euros a piece. So I cannot be too mad. And actually you get the jersey that the players are wearing as well with a stretch pattern, a stretch material, which is really nice to wear. So we started out with the most controversial jersey, the, away uh, the new home jersey. When it was released in May, it caused an opera. Lask plays in black and white stripes. Now, we've, uh, we played with yellow sleeves for the longest of time with this bank sponsor that is on there above the Lusk logo. Big bank, uh, major contributor to the region, but we got an even better one, best water technology. And we did what the, we did with the Formula One team. We gave them the sleeves and since it's a regular cut, it's pink sleeves. And then on the sides, uh, the company colors. Uh, with pink, red and grey and that it makes sense then the grey is the same as we have on the stripes which then fade in and out. 
uh, the whole jersey is a mess, I have to say. What saves it that this was worn in the win against Basel. Um, that's why I got it for my wife. She said she likes it a lot better than I do. So that's why I got it also the humongous sponsor. To me, it is not a real last jersey. It is a mess. I think I could actually live with the gray striping uh, and the fade. It doesn't look all that bad. It just doesn't scream last. But for a season, it would have been okay. I'm more worried about the pink sleeves. I really don't like that for a regular home jersey, we sell away the sleeves. So that jersey, I have to say, too many sponsored everything. It's just a two star for a last look. The management of that company though realized that fans were not happy with it and they asked the club to release now one with black and white stripes uh, instead and that even the fans can exchange their uh, grayish one for the black and white one. I have to say this one as a last jersey looks a whole lot better and you have seen it in some of my videos already uh, as well. I actually do like this better. It looks way more like last game. Still not happy with the pink sleeves, but I'm gonna raise this to three stars because this is way more the look that I would expect from my team. However, neither of these jerseys can be uh, worn in the Europa League. In the Europa League, yes, we should be in black and white stripes, but they decided to do something special uh, to be a bit more unicolored. They say we go with white, and uh, the a white base has always been a home jersey. Now, I'm not so happy. I think a black base would look better. So we got this pinstripe look that you also see on the back here. I have to say, when it came out, almost everyone loved this. Uh, because it is such a classy look. Is it a necessary last look? No. But it is a really classy look. Um, they also tricked a little bit. As you saw from the we don't have a manufacturer. We actually uh, manufacture the jerseys ourselves. So uh, you saw the Forza Ice car brand. Now, um, in order to get the other sponsor in there, you know, the one that bought the sleeves that we have a big contract in, we made them the manufacturer. So we actually have here the manufacturer logo is the other sponsor, which how UEFA let that pass by, I don't know, but they came out with a whole clothing line from Best Water Technology. Go figure. I have to say, I said it already, I really like this look, especially as a one-off. It was not unusual for us to wear only white jerseys at home uh, for a while, especially in the um, uh, 90s. They did this a lot. So uh, while I do like the black and white stripe look, I actually can live this with this one a whole lot. And I have to say, this one looks really nice. My only problem is again, and this is what they do now, uh, home jersey gets the full color sponsor, all the others get then a uh, slightly more jersey friendly sponsor. For that reason, I'm only giving this eight star, but I really like color. Everything on that one it looks really, 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 really good. Uh, as I said, I would give 10 if this was black and white, proper prep black and white stripes. But I understand what they're doing here. Uh, the away jersey, White, black was always the away jersey, and I have to say this one makes a whole lot more sense than what we had for the league, than what we had with the um, home jersey. Uh, it takes the same silver look, but it makes it black, and do you see the sleeves are suddenly black. So although there are many sponsors on there, this jersey makes more sense. Is it a great jersey? Well, the sponsors kill it for the for, for the league too, to be honest. And if you see on the side, it has again best of all It's just sponsor overkill, as it is typically in Austria. But on the other hand, as an overall look, it is much stronger. And I'm willing to give this even six stars. Um, I like the cohesiveness of it, despite all the sponsors on there. Again, in the Europa League, we cannot wear it. We are wearing this jersey. Isn't it a beauty? I like this one even more than the home home jersey. Um, also, that the uh, main sponsor, which is a beer, is in white, uh, makes it even better looking. Uh, the only color is a little bit pink here, which is the same color from the jersey, but that doesn't matter. And here, the upper Austrian um, coat of arms, which we need to wear, which makes it really good looking. I absolutely love this jersey. Um, that was the first one I got. I knew I needed to get this one with the Europa League logo and with the uh, respect I finally have all the customization. Um, 
I was wondering if, it, if they shouldn't have gone all black, uh, not with the white color, but I think it gives enough contrast. I actually overall like it. Um, just because it's not striped nine stars. Other than that, I would give it 10 stars. Now in the league, I guess you see, we're having a third jersey in red with white. Um, we had for longest time red and blacks, but red and white also makes sense. And yeah, I'm miss. I do like it a little bit less than the black jersey. I have to have to say, but I think it's overall a decent look, and I also give this one five stars. Uh, note that the three current league jerseys I don't have, but I have the first uh, league home jersey that we looked at, and have all the European jerseys because in the Europa League we play in pink. Thanks to our sponsor who uses pink. Um, at first I thought, oh, but then, yeah, it's the same design. It looks nice. I cannot fault them really for it. And my girls always want to have a pink jersey. And yes, it became immediately, I needed to get this pink jersey, uh, that I don't have to hear him. Papa, you need a pink jersey. Papa, you need a pink jersey. So I'm not going to get the Barcelona one. I got one for Lusk. And given that we have a sponsor that gave us pink sleeves, it makes sense to have this pink jersey as well. With the pinstriping, it doesn't look uh, that bad. Is it a last look? No, it will never become a last look. But I think as the overall over design color and, and so on, I think it's good enough for yeah, six or seven stars. I actually want to be a little bit more um, strict and give it six stars, just because you can't just put pink all over. So yeah. Lots of last choices, long video, but you know, it's my favorite team. You gotta live with that. Uh, let me know which jerseys you liked, which ones you disliked. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.